Happy Halloween, everybody. I hope everybody's enjoying the spooky season this year. I'm here in the town of Westfield, New Jersey, which is the birthplace of Charles Adams, creator of the original Adams Family cartoon. Before it was a TV show, before it was a movie, it was a newspaper cartoon. And every year, this town celebrates Charles Adams and his work. So we're gonna take a walk around, see what they're doing this year, first place we're going to check out is a house that served as the inspiration for the design of the Adams Family's spooky mansion. Let's go check this place out. And right here it is, the original Adams Family house. Now you can kind of see it's got sort of that unique gothic style architecture. Now it doesn't look too spooky or scary, but in some of the original Adams Family sketches from Charles Adams, you can definitely see that it's this house that served as the inspiration for the Adams Family mansion. Yeah, this is it. This is the house that inspired the Adams Family Mansion. Pretty cool to see. Very gothic, unique architecture. Very nice. And you can see right here, they used this house in the design for the logo for Adams Fest, which is the town's event celebrating the Adams Family and the creator, Charles Adams. It's just a... Uh, it's pretty cool to be standing outside like this right here, you know? So some of the houses in this town go all out with the Halloween decorations, so let's go check some of these out. So this house right here seems to be nothing but dragons. Looks like we had all kinds of cool dragon inflatables. I remember they sold this one at Home Depot, and I had to put it up on display up in the rafters. That was a lot of fun. And over here, look at this green one. Oh. That one's moving. Check that out. And just look at these over here. And right here at this house, it looks like we got a graveyard with some creepy ghouls coming up. We even got a creepy doll popping out of a grave right there. And we got some spooky spiders crawling up a tree. And check it out, this, this house even has their own little Adams Family photo op where you can come and put your faces in and you can all be the Adams Family. And we got some cobwebs, got some spooky gravestones, all kinds of Halloween fun right here. Now check out this house, you got a little skeleton dachshund and you got a big old rainbow pony right there. Never seen that before. So now this house is particularly impressive. You got all these big spiders, you got ghosts, you got spiders up on the top of the house. You got a big old ghost. You got all these like silhouettes holding candelabras. That's pretty spooky. Pretty awesome right here. Oh, and this house is incredible. You got regular ghosts and you got Pac-Man ghosts. How cool is that? And take a look at all the spooky business happening here. We got a little Nosferatu right there. We got some skeletons carrying a wrapped up skeleton in a trash bag that's uh, pretty gruesome and just check out that big old ghoul over there holding a battle axe pretty spooky okay so this has nothing to do with adam's family but this house right here has its own little observatory out in front that's um something you don't see every day that's just kind of weird and unique and it's really cool how it's all old and weathered and it uh has ivy on it oh and if you look right there it even has some sort of a, either Chinese or Japanese characters on it. Check that out. That's cool. Yeah, and look at these little statues they got of that little baby deer and that eagle. That's really weird. All right, so now I'm inside the town. I'm in like the downtown area and they got something really cool in their local park. Let's check this out. So right here in the middle of this lovely pond, they have the Adams Family Mansion on a little island. Check that out. That is so cool right there. They just got the spooky gothic mansion right there. And it's in this pond. It's like a beautiful pond. I've never been here before, but it's really lovely. Yeah, just this town and this park. It's just beautiful. I had no idea all this was here. All right, so walking along right here in this storefront window. We got a picture of Gomez. And down a little further, we got Morticia. Pretty cool style. And right here, we got the kids, Pugsley and Wednesday. 
down a little further. We got everybody's favorite, Uncle Fester. And we got Lurch, who's too tall for the frame. So now this is an Adams Family. But right here in front of this gym, you got Freddy Krueger photo op. That's pretty neat. And it looks like they just filled this empty storefront with all kinds of cool artwork. That's pretty neat. Oh, and here, we got the Adams kids. We got Wednesday and Pugsley right here. That's awesome. And some space aliens. Check those guys out. Although it doesn't look too spooky, check out the name on this restaurant, Adams Tavern. Oh, looks like we got some more art in the windows. Looks like we got a Wednesday right there. And we got Morticia. Black is such a happy color. So now this is pretty great. We got the Adams family wearing scuba gear. I'm not sure why, but it's amazing. And here in front of the salad restaurant, we got the whole family enjoying some greens, which I don't think they would probably eat in real life. They'd probably be eating, I don't know, like corpses or something. Oh, and it's Cousin It. I don't think we've seen Cousin It depicted yet, but he's everyone's favorite. And this is pretty cool right here in the corner. They got a, a Hershey Kiss. I guess somebody just decided to stylize that sort of little corner protector there. Pretty cool. So I have never been to this town before, but it is just very beautiful. There's just so much, you know, art. All the buildings are beautiful. Look at these. They almost look like they're rainbow colored. And you know, here on the lamppost, they got a big butterfly. This isn't even for Adams Family. It's just cool stuff. Even Joseph A. Bank has the Adams on it. And I guess that makes sense considering how they are. Very stylish people. Right up on that street light, they got a cool ghost light. Oh, and check out this art of Uncle Fester and Morticia. That's really great looking, those two. And right here on the lawn in this park, we got some more spooky characters. We got Black Lagoon. We got Frankenstein's monster. We got Scary Werewolf. We got King Kong and his son. Did, did King Kong have a son? I don't remember that. We got uh, an eye chart, I, I don't know. We got a witch, and we got a cool vampire. Oh, and check out in this window, they made Cousin It out of straw. And now here's something I've been seeing quite often in my travels is fence art. Right here we got Cousin It, made out of strips of cloth. Pretty cool stuff. Here's a little info about it. And of course we got the famous Adams Family Mansion. We got Wednesday looking as cheerful as she ever does. And over here we got Thing. Oh, I haven't seen any anything for Thing yet. I love Thing. Remember that part when it's just crawling around the house on a skateboard? That's pretty cool. Here we have the Rialto Theater, which is a classic theater. It was actually featured in some of the original uh, Adams Family comic books, comic strips, I should say. Right here we have some on display. Don't be late, the Rialto's opening. And just look at the paintings they got in front here. I love this stuff. So this skeleton was drawn by Charles Adams on his friend's barn when he was a child. Isn't that crazy? So now coming up right here in this underpass, we got some commissioned Adams Family murals. I'm very excited to see these. And here we got scenes from the town of Westfield with the Adams walking around and doing stuff. We were just at these buildings right here. And as you can see, we got Grandmama and Cousin It walking around. We got Gomez and Morticia at the park, the one we were just looking at. We got Lurch right in front of the famous Adams house. We have the man himself, Charles Adams. And we got Wednesday and Pugsley right in front of the Rialto Theater. That's incredible. And just look at this, this is awesome. We got the Adams family and their creator man who was born right here in this town. That's incredible. I, I love that. 
Here's the signature. I guess he went by Chaz, Chaz Adams. And here we have the family. And Mr. Adams with them right there. Very uh, dour looking gentleman. I guess it makes sense. Here we have him. Looking pretty buff and muscular. Oh, and let's look at this one. Got kind of a paint splatter style on it. Excuse the road noise, I'm in an underpass, not much I can do about it. Look at that. Not entirely sure what's happening in this one, but it's pretty cool. I guess that's supposed to be Charles Adams. And it's got the Adams family on each one of his fingertips. Yeah, and there he is again, and the family. I love how uh, just goofy Gomez looks. And we have the kids. Here they are, sitting in front of the famous house. Here's another really cool one. Looks like they're kind of uh, going through a portal. And we got Cousin It right there. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you for joining me for a look at Westfield and their Adams Fest celebration. Really cool stuff, I had a lot of fun. I love the Adams family and it's just a beautiful town. They really go all out. And I want to point out that there is a lot more to it than just what I showed you today. It's a month-long celebration for October. They have events, um, like parties and things like that. I just didn't have an opportunity to come to them. But possibly next year. And I hope everybody liked my Halloween videos. Um, I kind of wanted to just do Halloween stuff for the month of October. So I hope everyone enjoyed that. Um, it'll be back to your regularly scheduled programming soon. So my name is Ray. My channel is Ray out there. If you like this video, please hit subscribe to join me on my adventures in the future. Thank you for watching.